as we all know that not all the reactions are of redox reaction as we have discussed in the morning class uh, example of uh, magnesium and sulfur in which magnesium is going to lose its two electrons and donate it to the sulfur atom that time magnesium is going to assign the uh, plus two sign after he has going to donate his two electrons to the sulfur atom and sulfur is going to achieve a uh, plus three sign as he is going to have the gain of the two electrons minus two uh, uh, number as he is going to gain the two electrons from the magnesium atom so these plus 2 and minus 2 this is nothing but the oxidation number of those two elements now what is the meaning of the word oxidation number this is oxidation number is a positive or negative number which is assigned to an atom to indicates its degree of oxidation or reduction so it is a number which is assigned to the any atom if he is going to donate or either accept that many number of electrons now there are some of the rules to assign those oxidation states and oxidation numbers in which the first sign or first number is for a free element the oxidation state is zero the element which is not going to bear any charge on its uh, head those elements or those molecules totally assigned as a uh, whose oxidation state is zero before actually going into the reaction before actually going into the reaction now there are uh, elements who is going to have the uh, mono atomic state they are single atom then also they are going to bear any oxidation state either positive state or negative state so there are elements who is going to bear their oxidation states chlorine is going to bear minus 1 has he is always going to possess a minus number number minus 1 number on its minus 1 symbol in its head so these are the elements who is going to have their oxidation states either plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 likewise now there are exceptional cases for all those elements as well as molecules now the alkali metal ions now what we have seen some of the elements have their uh, some of the elements are, are neutral so they are don't bear any oxidation state some of the monoatomic elements they bear either plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 oxidation state there are elements there are some of the group of elements who is going to have the same oxidation number so likewise lithium sodium potassium are going to have the same oxidation state that is plus 1 there are some of the earth metal ions who is going to have the same oxidation number that is plus 2 now we all know in the case of rule number 2 we have discussed that hydrogen is going to have the plus 1 number but when there is some exceptional for case for this plus one number when this hydrogen is in the metal anhydride state metal hydride state that time uh, that is a lithium hydride that time he is not going to obey the plus one rule then oxygen uh, also have the minus two uh, oxidation state number but this is an exceptional case in case of when it is there in the molecule that is hydrogen peroxide halogen always and usually going to bear the Minus one oxidation state. Now, every time the sum of the oxidation state in the molecule is zero. See, whenever the oxidation state of molecule we are calculating, or we are calculating the total oxidation state of any molecule, it is zero. So this is number rule number four. See, we are going to calculate the oxidation state. Now we know carbon is going to be a neutral. He is not going to obey any charge. Or possess any charge, so the oxidation state of carbon is zero. Plus hydrogen, plus two, as it is uh, combined with an oxygen, and the oxidation state of oxygen is minus two. Every time he is going to bear a pair of number of pair of electrons, so this don't pair of electrons will form a bond with this side two hydrogen atoms, which is there in the. Um, that's why the oxidation state of this molecule is totally zero. now if we are going to calculate the oxidation state of methanol so that time uh, the carbon here it is uh, bonded with the two hydrogen atoms so plus two hydrogen atoms then plus three then uh, one which is one which is going to form a bond with the oxygen that's why plus one then minus two with respect to the oxygen and plus one with respect to the hydrogen so the totally 
the oxidation state of overall this methanol molecule is again zero now the sum of the oxidation state in an ion is equal to the charge on the ion generally if we are going to give the any charge on the molecule now this here molecule is of ethoxide so this ethoxide molecule is going to have the uh, minus charge on it so what is the rule number 5 the sum of the oxidation state in any ion is equal to the charge on the ion so generally we know the molecule state sometime it is zero sometime it is plus 1 sometime it is minus 1 depending upon the structure of that molecule Now, if we are going to consider the ethoxide ion, so the oxidation state is uh, minus three, plus three, minus one, then two minus plus one plus minus two with respect to the oxygen. So, so totally, he is going to obey the charge that is minus one. So similarly, with the top or uh, acetone ion. So similarly. if we are going to consider any redox reaction and its oxidation state see here if we are going to give uh, our, if we are going to oxidize the magnesium ion in the presence of oxygen so there is formation of an magnesium oxide now what happen uh, under this reaction so the magnesium ion will form a uh, magnesium will donate these two uh, uh, if will donate his electrons to the oxygen so how he is going to donate his electrons that's why uh, 2mg gives 2mg2 plus plus 4 electrons it is an oxidation state now later on what happen these oxygens plus these four electrons will give to o2 this is a uh, redux reduced state of oxygen atom and this is an oxidized state of oxygen atom. similarly when there is reaction between the sodium and water molecule so there is formation of an NaOH and water NaOH and hydrogen so two of na will give two na plus plus two electrons then two of h will give two electrons plus h2 so these are all the half reactions of oxidation and reduced state so what is the meaning of the word oxidizing agent it is a species which causes oxidation and itself reduced in the course of a redox reaction any reagent any molecule if it is undergo oxidation state uh, of another molecule and uh, get reduced itself so this is known as redox uh, in the course of redox reaction it is known as oxidizing agent and the reducing agent it is the species which causes a reduction and itself oxidized in the course of redox reaction that means oxidizing agent ka aisa agent hai ki so the strength of oxidation par to ani sata reduce to reducing agent ha sa reducing agent hai to the strength of reduction par to ani sata oxidize to ah he do ni procedure simultaneously or that mean ya procedure sa karanta redox reaction now there are some of the examples of oxidizing agent and reducing agents oxidizing agents like permanganate ion chromate ion dichromate ion sodium hypochlorite nitric acid perchloric acid and sulfuric acid these are the oxidizing agents and some of the reducing agents like active metal ions like sodium potassium lithium sodium magnesium aluminum zinc sodium hydride calcium hydride and lithium aluminum hydride these molecules are also considered as an uh, reducing agents now there are some of the compounds which are actually involved in the redox reaction in day to day life So oxidizing uh, oxidizing agent is used as an redox citrate like iodometry potassium permanganate when it is we are we are going to use potassium permanganate it is known as permanganometry when we are going to use a potassium dichromate it is known as dichromometry cerium solutions like cerium aluminum sulfate cerium citrate so that time it is known as cerium solutions and the last but not the least titration is titration that create and consume iodine so these are some of the oxidizing agent which are actually involved in the redox reaction now there are some reducing agent which are also involved in the redox reaction is sodium thiosulfate most commonly used as an redox citrate right? then stable in the oxygen reducing agents are oxidized by the dissolving oxygen stronger reducing agents are required most work in the oxygen free environment now 
suppose we are going to take an example of identify the oxidized species reduced species oxidizing agent and reducing agent in given reactions so we are going to go step by step manner first of all we are going to do the identification of oxidation numbers now we know oxidation number is nothing but through which a compound is going to either oxidize or reduce so that number which is assigned by those elements are known as oxidation number now see here in the case of chromium it is cr2 plus he is going to have or uh, it is combined with the o7 minus so how we are going to assign the total number to the oxidation number to this molecule it is minus 2 because already the charge on the head is given again uh then so the oxidation number is minus 2 so suppose if we are going to calculate the oxidation number from this for this chromate ion that's why uh, here the chromate ion is given cr2o7 minus 2 so whole this molecule we are going to consider so two of chromate ions and seven of oxidized ion so combinedly if we are going to select for the calculation of chromium so chromium we are going to consider it as a x so by simplifying this x to be equation 2x minus 12 if we are going to calculate the value for x so it is 2x is equal to 12 so x is nothing but 6 so the oxidation number or the oxidation state of this chromium is 6 then for the calculation of ferrous ion uh, in this reaction 6 fe2 plus so how we are going to calculate the for ferrous ion fe2 plus is the reducing agent see whenever oxygen donate then it is oxidizing agent fe2 plus means it is reducing agent he is going to gain the electron see 2 plus sign is given on their hand that means he is going to gain the electron so it is the reducing agent and cr is reduced by plus 3 2 plus 6 2 plus 3 therefore the dichromate ion is reduced so dichromate ion is the uh the oxidizing agent so potassium dichromate here we are going to consider as an oxidizing agent and fe2 plus as an reducing agent so if we are going to balance this equation balancing simple equations and redox equation so how we are going to balance any simple and redox equation suppose this is reaction to given to us for the balancing purpose cu which is solid in nature plus silver which is aqueous in nature if it is dissolved in any solvent so later on the silver ion will be converted into a solid state and copper ion will be converted into an aqueous state so how we are going to balance this reaction uh, for the balancing of the any uh, redox reactions for the for that step number 1 pick out similar species from the equation Re reaction cha left hand side la and reaction cha right hand side la what are the similar species that we are going to keep it aside eka baju la gaiche kadu so what happened to this copper ion as we are going to keep it aside those all similar species copper which is there in the neutral state that is solid state it is converted into cu plus 2 later on in the aqueous state and then ag plus which is there in the aqueous state later on it is converted into an solid state so we have separated out the similar species to one side now step number 2 is the balance the balance equation individually for the charges and number of atoms shuruvatila uh, we have separated them out for the uh, similar species apan eka bajula kadun getle then later on what we are going to do balancing of the those similar species cu s as zero charges there and cu plus 2 that means he has lose his two electrons now plus two electrons are there now what happens to this uh, ag plus uh, we have separated out the ag plus aqueous which is converted into ag solid so ag plus is going to accept one of the electron out of this two electron and it is converted into ag plus so cu0 becomes cu2 plus by losing two electrons and cu0 getting oxidized to cu2 plus is the oxidizing half reaction so that's why he varchijikai reaction that I, that is conversion of cu2 cu2 plus is known as 
oxidizing reaction which is half reaction this is happening with respect to the copper only so this is only oxidation reaction what is reduction reaction silver become ag0 gaining one electron silver which is there ag plus when later on it is converted into ags that is ag0 by gaining one of the electron so ag plus getting reduced to silver is the reducing half reaction so what is the total balance of this reaction again we will write the same statement of all our reaction cu solid plus cu2 plus plus two electrons now 2 ag plus plus two electrons will give 2 ag so what is the net balance of the equation if we are going to take all of them combinedly then cus plus 2 ags plus two electrons and these two electrons will convert ag into uh, two electrons will convert cu into cu2 plus so cu2 plus plus two ag will gives two electrons so left hand side of the equation and right side of the equation both electrons if you are going to vanish so the total valence of this reaction is cu plus twice ag gives cu2 plus plus twice ag the number of electrons involved in the overall reaction is two or only two electrons are involved in this uh, reaction now I'll take a screenshot of this reaction and you are going to solve the balancing of this equation at your home now our first type of titration is uh, redox titration 